Hi there, welcome back to EU4 Napoleon Campaign. I am a Paradox Gamer. And we are just uh, three and a half years away from the end of the game. We have achieved uh, most of the things that we set out to do. We have conquered Prussia, we have demolished Austria, we've taken Naples. We've taken out the uh, German miners. All we need to do is to take out the uh, HRE. And to do that, we can dismantle by controlling the princes and the capital of the emperor. I currently control all of the princes. So I, all I need to do is to control Vienna, which is the capital of the emperor. So of course I will need to attack Austria. And let's just check out what are the options for that. They are allied with Sardinia Piedmont and they are in the coalition against France. Now Sardinia Piedmont is also in the coalition, so there's no way there's no way around attacking Austria. The only problem with Austria is we have a truce. So now if I attack them, that would cost me five stability points. That's not exactly what I want. So what I could do is I could attack Sardinia Piedmont instead. Uh, oh, they are already in the war. So who's not in the war right now? Portugal. Austria, the Ottomans. Okay. So is Portugal in the coalition? Yes, they are. So all we gotta do is attack Portugal. And that would bring in everybody else. And who is... Let's see. Hesse is in, Württemberg, Hansa, Mecklenburg, Switzerland, Thuringia, Anhalt, Oldenburg, Modena, Great Britain is already in, Montenegro, Saxony, Denmark, Sweden, Sardinia, Spain, Portugal, Austria and Ottomans. So that will bring in Portugal, Austria and the Ottomans. There's no way around it because the Ottomans have just joined the coalition and so they will be in the war. Now let's take a look at the Ottomans. They have 255,000 men. That's more than I have. So they are gonna come crushing in. They do have... Um, the military is, uh, is not too good. And all I have to do is occupy Vienna, so that means I have to just drive through here, take Vienna and just stay there. And then as soon as the garrison falls, I can dismantle the HRE and I will win. But I have a feeling that I might need to uh, construct more units. Let's see, I'm already over my force limit. But the only thing that is doing is it's um, it's costing me money, right? So, you can go to the economy screen, and uh, so this army maintenance will become a lot, lot higher. But I have nine thousand um, ducats, so let's just build uh, a lot of troops. That uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but at least then I will have them to um, to send up against some renegade Ottoman army or whatever. Okay, so let's uh, let's start building. Let's go with uh, 20 infantry and 4 cavalry, right? What is this? Uh, Austrian patriots are close to enforcing their demands. That's good. I don't want that piece of land. This It's this province right here, Guts, that I accidentally took in the, in the peace deal. I thought I could give it to Venice, but I couldn't. Um, so they will defect to Austria, which is 
fine. I don't I don't really need them. Anyway, just need to uh, let's position these armies around here. And let's take this army south as well. Let's put it down here. Yeah, and once they are in position, we will initiate the war. Portugal is not really dangerous anymore. They have lost Brazil. Brazil has revolted away from uh, Portugal. So it's not like it's going to be dangerous to get them into the war. Um, it would just mean they will walk up here and then you'll have the Portuguese army as well. These guys are suffering horrendous attrition. Um, yeah, so that'll, that'll be fine. The only problem will be the Ottomans. And that's also a historical because uh, Napoleon never fought the Ottomans. But uh, what can I do? They are in the coalition against me. So let's get these armies into position. That was the siege of Thuringia. Great. So let's move those together. Move them here. That leaves only this province here. Yeah, and then Mecklenburg up here. So that's uh, almost all of it. Yeah, so these guys are staying here. And these guys are moving down here. And then we will conduct the attack. We are in July 1816. Uh, let me just move them all the way down here. Yeah, let's move them here. No, here. And when they arrive, we will attack. Still no movement in Spain. Oh. <laughs> Silesia has made a suicide attack in here. Well, be my guest. Oh, now the Croatians are taking over here. Don't do that. Okay, I'm ready. So we have four armies positioned in Bavaria. 26, 19, 20 and 34. The 34 stack is going straight to Vienna and it's just staying there. Yeah, the other guys will be moving around fighting uh, the Austrians and eventually the Ottomans when they come up. Um, there's also these two sieges here which will free up a lot of troops once they are done. But I can't really wait for that. Uh, that, that could take a long time. We have one single siege left over here. One up here. and. This up here, I, these guys will stay up here to take care of any Danish and Swedish attacks from up there. Still no sign of Great Britain. They are, um, have not engaged in battle on the continent at all. I've lost every island and whatever possession I have. Um, I have one province in India. It's taken out. I have the one province here in uh, South America has been taken out by the British. And the island of Corsica has been taken out by Sardinia. There's nothing I can do about those. So, um, so the plan was to attack Portugal. That would bring Portugal, Austria and Ottomans back into the war. There we go. but as a separate war, I see. So that will be Ottomans, Portugal, Austria, Corfu and Moldavia. Moldavia over here, Corfu here. Right, so let's go take care of these guys. 
Uh, these guys are in Tyrol, which is a mountain, so I'm not going to attack them there. I'm going to wait for them to make a move. And I still have Napoleon that I can put in uh, in an army somewhere. Yeah, let's hit the button and see what happens. They're moving to Trent down here. That's good. That means I can move into Tyrol and uh, stay in the high ground there. So let's do that. Let's take this guy. No, let's take this guy into Tyrol. Put these guys in here. Oh, they're moving through to Treviso. They're moving towards um, the Nepalese troops in here. Okay. Battle of Linz is over and I'm moving straight to Vienna. These guys will support them from Linz. Croatians are going to help out in this battle here. I could help as well. Uh, see now this is what I thought would happen. They will abandon the sieges down here. Yeah, Italians will do that too. So that's a little bit annoying that uh, now Estoria will start spamming uh, some uh, regiments down here as well. But in the grander scheme, it doesn't really matter. I will get these troops to help me out up here. That's fine. Meanwhile, all of these guys here are done. Let's put them somewhere near the battle. Put them in Dauphiné. Let's take these as well. Dauphiné. Good, good, good. Uh, that puts me uh, minus one ducket. That's fine. I think we will win that battle anyway. So let's put, put these guys in here. Take out these four regiments. Let's wait for the Ottomans to arrive. Relentless drill. Morale of armies plus 15%. Thank you very much. Battle of Trend is over. Stack wipe. Let's move to... Let's move them here. That's also mountains, yes. And the Austrians lost. Let's put the cavalry in here as well. It gives us one extra army. Oh, and the Prussians are fighting down here. They will lose. Yeah, I will not engage. Denmark is crossing the strait here. Yeah, the Polish will take them out. Siege of Vienna is still minus 49%. We'll be following that closely. Battle of Linz. What about Canton? Is also mountains? Yes. There's a lot of mountains around here. What about Linz? It's not... No. I would rather be in Steiermark, I think. Because that would link up and still be in the mountains. Right, so let's... Um Let's leave three guys behind in Tyrol. Oh. One, two, two, three. And move the other guys to Steiermark. Yeah, go this way. Salt crisis.
Still no sign of the Ottomans, but they will be here shortly. Siege of Schleswig is over. That's good. Good, good, good. Let's just leave them there. And I think when Mecklenburg falls, I will go to Vorpommern. Yeah. Oh, the uh, Austrian army is fleeing all the way up there. Somewhere up here. And uh, I think I'll leave that to my um, my vassals to fight them. Oh, here we go. Here comes the uh, Ottomans. No leader. No leader in this army. Okay. Let's see where he goes. There he is, moving to Graz. Hopefully he'll engage me in Steiermark in the mountains. That would be super good. Oh, he changed direction to Posony. I think he's going for this battle up here. The Pomeranians are attacking Austria. And I could send some help. Might not be necessary. They have no morale left. Yeah, they're definitely going in that direction. Siege of Tyrol is already over. Wow. Okay. So move these. Uh, move him into Linz. The Italians are coming this way, and this army has formed up. The Spaniards are pursuing the Prussians. The Prussians down here. The Venetians are here. Okay, let's take this new army and move it towards over here. Oh, these guys are on the move. They are moving to Tyrol. Okay. Austrian Patriots arriving 21st. Yeah, that's fine. Let them uh, let them go there. That's okay. Siege of Vienna is minus 42%. See, now they start. Uh, that's what I talked about before. They already have two stacks here, two stacks here, one stack here. It's just annoying. I think I'm gonna take care of that actually. Let's go there. Siege of Mecklenburg is over. Let's move to Swedish Pomerania here. Take that out. That's the only province left that I don't have. Oh, these guys have taken out the Commonwealth. Hmm. That's not necessarily good. I think I will forget about Swedish Pomerania and join up the army up here. Austrians almost lost. The Ottomans will arrive on the 24th. Ten more days. That's going to be the end of the Pomeranian army. Hopefully they will just pull it off before that. Okay, so these guys have arrived here. We'll move the army. Well, why should we move that army? Because... Uh, we'll let okay, we can let it stay there and take these guys down to Siena instead. Yeah, let's do that. And the Pomeranians just pulled it off. But they're gonna be annihilated now. Siege of Tyrol is over. That was fast. Where are they going now then? They're just staying there? Okay. And we have another Ottoman army coming through here. Siege of Vienna is minus 35%. 
So um, we're gonna put a break in here and then uh, maybe we will finish the uh, scenario in the next episode. Hope to see you again then. Thank you so much. Bye bye.